What's happening ladies and James out there in YouTube land? Got a good one for you today. Alright, look here. I've done been piling up PCP air rifles around the shop and you guys gotta help me get rid of some of these, okay? So, uh, we're putting up some Terminator built PCPs up on the chopping block. So hopefully some of y'all millions and billions of followers out there in YouTube land got a little bit of Skrilla burning a hole in your pocket and you're ready to uh, acquire yourself a new toy to play with out in the garden. We don't wanna... You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your trigger fingers. I say that's the Timonator. So, what I make you? Target shooters. All right. So, uh, first up on the chopping block, I got this crawl puncher jumbo dazzle. Huh, this crawl is a 250 bar fill. It comes with two quick change bottles, so you can get 300 shots per fill out of this between the two bottles out in the field. It's calibered in 22. It's got the uh, transfer port adjuster, biathlon lever, adjustable shoulder rest. This is running a uh, carbon fiber wiener dog LDC in bronze and black. It's got the barrel harmonics kit under the shroud. These barrels are really accurate. So uh, it's got like eight inches of Picatinny rail down below for mounting up your bipod on there. And it's got Picatinny rails up top. A couple of magazines for your shooting pleasure. All right, Just hit, hit me up if you're interested in this rifle right here. Next up, uh, I have here a uh, Gauntlet 1 22 cal. Carbine shortened barrel, 420 cc carbon fiber bottle, regulated at 1500 psi, uh, adjustable shoulder rest on there, M lock bipod, tune trigger, uh, adjustable hammer spring, running the Terminator G Shock barrel band system with the flexible inserts. Harmonics, got the harmonics dampening kit, got the uh, all black Terminator carbon fiber wiener dog LDC on there. Uh, this is running 13.5 grain JSBs at 900 feet per second, and we're getting about 200 shots per fill uh, out of this tune. Yeah, great rifle, super high shot count, accurate with these projectiles. with the uh i got this gauntlet 30 it's a full timonator build it's got everything that we offer harmonic dampening kit timonator mega band 30 dog ldc uh power adjuster tune trigger regulated at 2400 for higher shot count it's got the timonator furniture on there and uh golden black Brand new, pretty much brand new rifle. <clears throat> okay, next up is going to be our shop build Aventury Avenger Bullpup bottle version. Alright, so uh, this Avenger Bullpup's got pretty much, it's fully loaded. It's got the bully band chassis stiffener, which if you've ever played around with one of these Avenger bullpups, you'll notice that there's like all kinds of twist in the barrel shroud, the Picatinny scope clamps. I mean, everything's twisting all over the place on this thing out of the box. So, the bully band chassis stiffener that locks everything together. Then, we've got our proprietary design bottle adapter kit, which many have tried, but few have succeeded. Besides, the mad science stooges in the Terminator labs to develop and produce an actual bottle add-on for the Avenger bullpup. So with this bottle add-on there's very minimal modifications necessary to the stock. Some of the other bottle conversions I've seen out there require you to molest your whole stock and cut a big old section of your stock out which uh, 
it just doesn't look right and it doesn't look like it's from the factory it's supposed to be like that um, but we wanted to keep this one to have a factory OEM look basically it just has the fill nipple right here you have to put a little bit of a uh, file out a little bit of a cutout right there but yeah it's got the uh, rear Picatinny rail stabilizer the Terminator low rise cheek weld the barrel band the carbon fiber color matching LDC wiener dog and then on this if you've ever had a Avenger bullpup you'll know that uh, how many times it's fallen over on you on the bench the thing falls over all the time whether you have a bipod on it it's resting on the grip in the bipod or if you're running it on a sandbag you know it'll always fall off the sandbag and if you're lucky it'll just fall on the table if you're not it's gonna fall all the way onto the ground so uh, we developed a Terminator target stabilizer M-lock bipod system for this which keeps it from being so tippy you know it gets it stabilized between the front and the back instead of just on the grip and uh yeah it's it's not going to tip over on you anymore okay plus these are adjustable in case if you have different uh ledge to shoot off of or whatever you can just adjust them to how you how you like it all right but yeah let me know if you're interested in one of these uh this thing i don't know if i mentioned but this is caliber 177 uh 420 cc total air capacity with the 300 cc bottle and the dual 60 cc short air cylinders inside so you got 420 which is probably going to yield you uh anywhere probably close to 250 shots per fill roundabout depending on your tune 177 cal but yeah this thing's got barrel harmonics kit internally adjusted trigger um gauge matching gauge covers the full uh furniture kit match throw up this 22 caliber gauntlet 2 carbon bottle conversion uh, short barrel terminator g-shock barrel band system hajimoto side cocking lever for quick follow-up shots um, that's really nice we got the matching wiener dog LDC up front M-lock bipod on there, tune trigger, power adjuster. This one's regulated at 2200 PSI. We're shooting the uh, 16 grain JSB Hades. Um, with this 420 cc carbon bottle. All right, next up, we'll talk about this here. Um, hats on flash pup. Took this rifle in on a trade for a GTAC stock system. This, this PCP had an air leak. It was real simple to fix, so we just went through it, fixed that, it's, and then it was like new. And then uh, we developed the carbon fiber shroud and LDC system to replace the OEM quiet energy shroud and monocore that came with this from the factory, which was a few inches longer and a few decibels louder than how we have it here. So, uh, carbon fiber shroud and LDC kit allows you to run an actual LDC half UNF at the end and then the carbon fiber shroud acts as a barrel tensioning system so it's a really cool system it fits perfect if you guys already have a flash pup and want to order this carbon fiber shroud LDC system from us it's like 125 bucks it comes ready to slide on super quick installation this uh, flash pups calibered in 22 um, it's very accurate, very fun to shoot. It's extremely lightweight and compact. Um, good to shoot not blind or from your uh, UTV. Adjustable cheek weld. We're getting about 50 shots per fill running the aids out of this. It's a 200 bar fill, so if you have to fill it with a pump, yeah, you'd be golden with this PCP right here. All right, we're gonna throw up this here. 22 caliber Avenger carbon fiber bottle conversion 420 cc Terminator Wiener Dog LDC short shroud kit uh, silver and black colorway matching gauge covers tune trigger Picatinny bipod Terminator bottle band pretty much fully set up really nice rifle
ready to go. Pretty much all these PCPs have real low hours on them. You know, between all of them, I can't shoot them all at the same time. So, you know, they get taken out to make a video or two with here or there. And then they pretty much just uh, sit on the wall as a decoration. So, yeah, I need you guys to take some of these off my hands, okay? Next up, I'll uh, throw up this Notos on the chopping block. Um, this thing probably only has about 150, 200 rounds through it. Took the OEM monocore system out and developed the terminated decibel LDC for this PCP. And uh, after all of our testing and development of the decibel LDC uh, monocore insert, the final result was almost 15 decibels quieter than the OEM baffles. And we also felt that the Notos should be a little bit more accurate. And luckily with the Terminator Decibel monocore insert, the accuracy was tightened up as well. So two improvements by running the Terminator Decibel, which is 15 decibels quieter, tighter grooves. Now when I got the Notos, I was like, man, how am I, how am I supposed to utilize this thing? I got to bring a sandbag everywhere with me or, or I got to shoot it offhand, you know, because there's no, there's no front mount. So we developed the bipod mount for the Notos, which is a tube clamp, and it just gives the Notos a really good, stable way to shoot it. Bam. So, take this off my hands, order yourself a Jesse ball and a bipod mount for your Notos if you already got one. Then we'll slap up one of my favorite PCPs in the shop. This is my 25 caliber Avenger. It's got the golden black Terminator furniture on there. We're running the uh, Terminator G-Shock barrel band system. We've got a 300 cc bottle to keep everything light and compact. We've got the uh, shortened barrel and shroud. The M-Lock bipod, adjustable shoulder rest, tuned trigger. Terminator short dog carbon fiber LDC up front. Barrel harmonics kit under the shroud, and this PCP is tuned to run the JSB Hades. So this thing's very accurate. It's so light. I mean, one of my favorite builds. But yeah, take this off my hands, or take one of the other ones off my hands because I got too many PCPs hanging up all over the wall. Uh, I ain't got no more space for them. So uh, yeah, do yourself a favor, get yourself a new toy. Yeah, just tell the wife that you've been waking some overtime and deserve to treat yourself to a new toy. But yeah, hit me up in the uh, comments. Uh, contact info is in the description of this video. Send me a text. Let me know which model you're interested in and I'll give you a sweet hot deal.